here to make a video of uh, combining corn this year. It's going pretty well. I'm sitting inside the cab of the combine and I'm, we're looking out at the end rows of a field. There's the corn. That corn's about eight or nine feet tall, some places 12 feet tall. I've combined the field to the right behind me and this field is uh, 14 acres here, this little piece. And then over in the distance, through that initial ditch with those pine trees right there, behind that, there's another field of 17 acres where you can just see the faintest trace of uh, a, a semi-trailer that's loaded with uh, corn. So there's probably a thousand bushels in that. And uh, the trucker just brought another semi. So what we're going to do this morning, and the grain cart is over there, and it's full of 450 bushels of corn. So what we're going to do this morning is fill, start filling up that second semi, the, the empty one, while the trucker's taking the semi that's full down to Cashton to sell down there. It's 175 miles. What we've got here, if you look behind me, you can see in the window, I'm hoping, this combine is full of uh, corn, more or less 200 bushels. So for the international people, that's uh, 56 pounds a bushel. That's a little more than 10,000 pounds or 4,000 kilos or 2,000 tons, I guess. That'd be right. Anyway, you can kind of see it up here. That's how full it is in the uh, window. And what the product looks like or what the... Got a nice clean sample. Unfortunately, this corn is a little on the wet side. We're getting 23 or 24 uh, percent moisture, but the conditions dictate we have to harvest it now. Uh, the weather has actually been really nice. It's, it's really nice today for here in uh, mid-November. It's probably 45 degrees. It's 10:30 in the morning. A little bit of wind too. Um, hoping the corn dries down a little bit more. But um, the problem with wet corn is I have to pay to dry it down and I have to pay to truck it. So I'm trucking moisture down there and then I'm paying them to burn it off. But I really don't have any other choices. Um, it's not going to dry down any much more in the field. And then I start running into snow problems and weather problems. And um, my grain bin right now is full of wheat that uh, the buyer didn't want of the food grade wheat. So I'm forced to hang on to that. But I'll start the combine up here get it warmed up and so it's basically it'll beep a couple times all the warning lights will come on oh i've got the uh, i turned the automatic shut off uh so i'll we'll go down and do that maybe i'll hit pause okay back in you didn't need to take that trip with me to Turn the power off. I do that just in case there's some lights I forget. And I'll drain the battery down. And then we can turn off the heat. There's my warning lights, everything's good. I just got a full tank of diesel. I think it's 140 gallons, 150 gallons, which would be what? 550 liters for our metric friends so I need to let the uh, the thing warm up the combine warm up and then like I said I'm full of grain of corn and so I can't combine anymore but once uh, my dad gets over here he's dumping it'll show up where is he right through the trees you can barely see Right in there. Oh, there's the uh, 7140. He's dumping that semi. Well, I think this video is probably going on long enough, but maybe I'll shoot one of actual running it in the field. But it's kind of tough to do and hold this camera and stay in the row and watch everything. But uh, thanks for watching, and maybe I'll I'll shoot another one.
beautiful day out here. Oh, we've got another about 70 more acres to go. Which for one guy, it's, it's a lot to do. But um, it's yielding pretty good. And we'll see how it uh, all stacks up. Well, i got to get my my moisture uh, moisture sensor circuit board is fried on this on this combine so I don't know my yield and I don't know my moisture as I'm going through the field I think it's a three thousand dollar repair I need to I, I need to get it fixed for next year so next year maybe I'll have some some better information for everybody real time okay bye for now